Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. If you've been following naval modernization programs around the world, you've probably noticed how many countries are choosing to upgrade their existing fleets instead of building entirely new warships from scratch. The 2026 HMCS Toronto, FFH333, is one of the best examples of how a proven platform can be brought into the modern era through careful engineering, digital upgrades, and a better understanding of how navies operate today. This ship is part of Canada's Halifax-class frigates, long considered the workhorses of the Royal Canadian Navy. But the 2026 configuration isn't just a touch-up, it's a substantial rebuild that strengthens the ship's ability to survive, communicate, and perform complex missions in an increasingly unpredictable maritime environment. The Halifax class has always been known for its sturdy hull design, optimized for the turbulent waters of the North Atlantic. The 2026 Toronto continues this tradition, but with enhancements that aren't immediately noticeable until you look closely. The hull uses improved anti-corrosion materials and updated coatings that reduce drag in the water and increase fuel efficiency over long distances. These coatings also lower the ship's acoustic signature, which is crucial for anti-submarine warfare. The superstructure has been subtly modified to better protect sensitive equipment from electromagnetic interference and to accommodate larger, more capable sensor arrays. None of these features dramatically change the ship's silhouette, but together they create a more refined and mission-ready vessel. One of the biggest upgrades comes from the ship's sensor suite. Modern frigates rely heavily on the ability to detect, track, and identify objects in the air, on the surface, and below the water. The 2026 Toronto uses an updated 3D radar system with a longer detection range and improved resolution, allowing operators to differentiate between small, fast-moving threats like drones and larger air contacts like patrol aircraft. The radar uses more advanced signal processing algorithms that help filter out background clutter caused by weather or sea conditions. This is vital in an age where modern threats are often low-profile, low-observable, and capable of appearing without much warning. Alongside radar improvements, the ship carries enhanced electro-optical and infrared sensors. These give the crew the ability to maintain visual tracking even in low-light or foggy conditions, something especially useful during boarding operations or when identifying small craft. The electronic warfare suite has also been refined with faster reaction times, better jamming capability, and more sensitive detection of hostile emissions. In practical terms, this means the ship can detect when it's being scanned or targeted by another vessel's radar or missile system and take defensive actions more quickly. Another significant development is found in the ship's digital backbone, the series of networks, processors, and data management systems that tie all hardware together. The 2026 upgrades introduced a more secure, more resilient combat management system that can integrate data from multiple sensors, prioritize potential threats, and help operators make faster decisions. This is especially important when the ship is part of a multinational task group, where shared situational awareness depends on fast, reliable data exchange. The system processes more information with less latency, allowing the crew to focus more on decision-making rather than sorting through raw data. Propulsion remains centered around the Kodag system, combined diesel and gas turbine, but the control systems have been modernized. This gives the ship smoother acceleration and better responsiveness. When maneuvering at lower speeds, fuel management technology has been updated as well, letting the crew optimize consumption during long deployments. The ship's electrical grid has also been redesigned to handle heavier digital loads. Because modern warfare relies so heavily on electronics, ships need more reliable power distribution to run sensors, communication arrays, and defensive systems simultaneously without overloading circuits. This upgrade prepares the Toronto for even more technologically advanced systems in the future. When it comes to performance, the 2026 Toronto continues to stand out as an exceptionally flexible frigate. Its anti-submarine warfare capability remains one of its strongest assets. The ship carries a modernized towed array sonar and upgraded hull-mounted sonar with improved resolution and reduced vulnerability to background noise. These systems help the ship detect submarines at greater distances and track them more accurately. Anti-submarine warfare is one of the most complex tasks any Navy performs, and these upgrades ensure the Toronto remains competitive in a world where submarine technology is becoming quieter and more advanced. 
The ship's weapon suite has seen notable improvements as well. While exact details are generally classified, the fire control systems have been updated to support quicker target acquisition and higher accuracy. The missile systems responsible for air defense now benefit from better tracking inputs from radar and sensors, allowing for more precise engagement of incoming threats. The naval gun on the bow also uses upgraded stabilization and targeting systems, giving it better performance in rough seas and higher accuracy against fast-moving targets. Though the frigate isn't designed to outgun larger destroyers, its weaponry is balanced to support escort missions, maritime defense, and rapid response scenarios. The helicopter capability remains a defining feature of the Toronto. The CH-148 Cyclone, which the ship can fully support, significantly expands the vessel's operational range. Whether conducting surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, or rapid troop insertion, the helicopter gives the ship much more reach than its sensors alone can provide. The 2026 upgrades include improved data links, allowing live information to flow directly from the aircraft to the ship's command center. This transforms the helicopter from being just an asset into a fully integrated extension of the ship's awareness and reconnaissance capabilities. Crew accommodations have also received attention. While warships are not designed for comfort, improvements were made to reduce operational fatigue. Lighting systems use adjustable LED technology to match day-night cycles better, which helps sailors maintain healthier sleep patterns. Workstations are redesigned to reduce physical strain, and noise reduction measures have been implemented in key compartments. Digital tools reduce manual paperwork, giving sailors more time to focus on core tasks. This human-centered approach recognizes that technology alone cannot guarantee mission success, the crew must be able to operate at high performance for long periods. Modern missions often involve more than combat readiness. The 2026 Toronto incorporates enhancements that improve performance in humanitarian operations, peacekeeping scenarios, and maritime law enforcement. Expanded storage, reorganized supply areas, and better launch and recovery equipment for small boats allow the ship to deploy rescue teams or boarding parties more efficiently. Upgraded communication equipment helps the ship coordinate with civilian agencies, international partners, and other naval units during large-scale operations such as disaster relief or anti-trafficking missions. What makes the 2026 HMCS Toronto genuinely unique is not any single system, but the combination of improvements working together. It is a ship built on decades of proven reliability, but engineered to meet modern challenges head-on. Instead of pursuing extreme specialization, it embraces versatility. It can track submarines, escort merchant vessels, monitor contested waters, assist in disaster zones, or serve as part of NATO operations. It can stay at sea for long periods, adapt to different mission profiles, and integrate with advanced fleets from some of the world's most capable navies. The result is a ship that stands as a strong example of how upgrading existing platforms can be as effective, and sometimes even more cost-efficient, than building entirely new classes. The HMCS Toronto in its 2026 configuration represents the philosophy of smart modernization. Identify what works, strengthen it, and integrate new technology where it creates real operational value. The ship remains durable, combat-ready, and technologically aligned with modern warfare, while still retaining the reliability and robustness that originally made the Halifax class a cornerstone of Canada's fleet. Whether you look at its enhanced sensor systems, refined propulsion, stronger digital backbone, upgraded defensive capabilities, or improved crew environment, the 2026 HMCS Toronto shows how a balanced, carefully planned modernization can breathe new life into a naval vessel. It is ready not only for the missions of today but also adaptable for the demands of the next decade. For anyone interested in naval engineering, maritime strategy, or simply understanding how modern fleets evolve, the Toronto offers a compelling story of transformation without losing sight of proven tradition.